Hello everyone, welcome to the introduction to green chemistry. The topic for the day is periodic table. Periodic table is a periodic arrangement of chemical elements based on their atomic number and electronic configurations. It was first proposed by a Russian chemist named Mendeleev in 1869. During his time, there were very few elements were known on the table. He was very able to leave gaps for the elements yet to be discovered, and later on, it turned out most of his predictions were correct. Today, there are already 118 entries on the periodic table. They are arranged in the fashion of columns and rows. Each column is called a group, and each row is also called a period. There is a tendency of the physical property change across columns and across rows. For example, the very fundamental property of elements are their atomic radii. The table shows here, as you go across a period from left to right, the atomic radii are decreasing. If you go from top to bottom, the atomic radii are increasing. To understand this ph phenomenon, we have to go back to the electronic configuration of atoms. On this slide, we show two atoms. One is magnesium, the other one is chlorine. They are on the same period. The major factor that determines the atomic radii is the interaction between the valence electron and the effect nuclear charge. The valence electron are defined to be the electrons are orbiting on the outermost shell of the electron shells. As in this case, magnesium has two electrons as valence electron, and fluorine has seven. The net nuclear charge is the charge difference between the nuclear charge and the valence electrons. As shown here, Magnesium has two plus effect nu nuclear charge, and the chlorine has seven. Apparently, the pull effect of the electron from the nuclei is much stronger for chlorine. Therefore, the atomic radius is smaller for chlorine than magnesium. The PR table is more than a display of elements. It also provides a powerful tool for chemists to rationalize the chemical behavior of the elements and design chemical reactions. We'll touch on more this kind of tendency of physical properties in the following lectures.